Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another my restaurant video so as many of you know one of the very first things that we started to do here on the channel was layouts and over the last few weeks i haven't really uploaded any because obviously a lot of really game changing things have been introduced and not only that but there was a time where i kind of dedicated way too much time into testing and redoing my layouts just so many times to make sure that i found the best one that i may or may not have caused a little bit of damage to my back in the process of doing that so for that reason i decided to go ahead and kind of take a break but we are are now back with the layouts and more specifically today i am going to be showing you guys sparkle king's brand new layout which if you don't know exactly who he is is number two on the leaderboards right now if you look at him right up here it is sparkle king 20 he basically went ahead and got in contact with me a couple of days ago and he sent me over his rough draft of what he was working on now a little bit after he sent me this unfortunately they did go ahead and announce that they were going to be introducing silverware and stuff like that so we kind of held off on releasing it until he was able to go ahead and update it with the brand new furniture now I obviously don't want to waste any more of your time with my rambling, but there is only two things that are extremely important when you are watching this layout. So currently I do have the bigger restaurant game pass. For that reason, I will have roses all the way around my restaurant. If you do not have the game pass, you do not need to worry about the roses. Completely ignore them and pretend that they aren't even there. Now, in the event that you do have the game pass, then you will want to build it a exactly how I have it in this video. The reason for this is because if you don't have the game pass, then your restaurant is 14 by 14. If you do have the game pass, your restaurant is 16 by 16. So adding the roses into the outer edges makes it smaller, therefore allowing me to build the layout the exact same size as those of you that don't have the game pass. The second thing is I understand that I have the entire restaurant full of royals, but you can do this with pirate furniture as well as with tiki tables you do not have to do this with royal furniture so now that we've got that all out of the way this is sparkle king's first floor and probably the most important part of the entire build and if i'm not mistaken i believe he calls this the crazy coffee kitchen now i'm going to go ahead and close down the restaurant just so things are not too hectic here and i can kind of explain to you what's going on so right at the start if you're noticing here this build is going to require you to use 10 coffee machines now of course i am fully aware that these are extremely expensive right now for a lot of you guys so for that reason when i go ahead and destroy the entire restaurant and rebuild it all over again i'll show you guys what you can do to go ahead and kind of fill these in just in case if you guys don't have any so if you don't have enough coffee machines don't worry about it you can still go ahead and use this layout now another thing that i want to point out is that yes this does use in the first floor some of the silverware trays but again if you don't have money for this i will show you guys some other things that you can place in these locations now the next big question is going to be carbon how many floors is going to be and the answer to that is three floors if you aren't using boost and then four floors if you are but before i go ahead and show you guys the other floors i do want to make it very clear if you remember at the start of the video i said that this is the most important part of the entire layout the reason for this is because technically speaking if you want you can use whatever design you want for floors two three and four if you end up going for the four floor build but the one i will be showing you in this video is the one that sparkle king is using but he did want me to let you guys know that you're free to use whatever floor you want as long as you're using this first floor now now, as you can see in the background right now this is floor number two and honestly nothing really too complicated about it the only kind of like interesting parts are the fact that we do have some of these silverware trays in between these two rows and then over here close to the teleporter we have three out of the four options that i'm going to recommend for you guys to place in these three spots so for instance if you have one of the big tip jars you can place that right here but if you don't have a candy machine you can just go ahead and place another gumball or maybe you have more than 10 coffee machines you can go ahead ahead and place some of those extra ones up here as well so to fill in these three spots on the two floors you can go ahead and use like i said the big tip jar any of the tip jars really the candy machine the gumball machine or the coffee machine so if we go ahead and head to my floor number three now you'll notice it is basically the exact same thing i didn't have another big tip jar so what i basically did was just put another one of my regular tip jars but yeah for the most part it is the exact same thing that i have on floor two so now comes the extremely fun part and that is where i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to destroy the entire thing and walk you guys through how to build this yourself i did go ahead and color coordinate the floor the same way that he gave me the chart just so it's a little bit easier for me to explain it to you guys and for you guys to kind of follow along so i'm going to go ahead and destroy this entire restaurant and we'll be right back all right so as you can see this looks like an absolute crazy 
mess right now with all of the different colors on the floor but this is the basic layout and honestly if you're looking at it this way it's probably really easy to understand where everything goes just in case if you guys are more comfortable with looking at the chart and following along with that i'm going to show it to you on the screen right now so go ahead and pause the video and follow along the chart if you would like to or you can go ahead and continue playing through the video and just kind of follow me along all right so starting from the top left hand side of your restaurant go ahead and from the corner move over one block and place your very first table right there then next to that go ahead and leave two spaces and place your next table after that you are going to want to leave four spaces in between the last one that you just placed down and it's basically a mirror image of what you did on the other side just leave two spaces here and place that down right there and you'll basically want to do this for every single yellow block that i have on the floor right now so starting again with the top left hand side go ahead and rotate your table move down one and place the next table down right there from this location just go ahead and leave two space gap and place the next table rotate one more time leave another gap and then place three tables going downwards now using the front door as well as the last table that you just placed down as a reference point go ahead and move over one block and then move up another block and place that final table down right there so you've basically now completed the entire left side the only other table that you might need to do here which i actually just forgot and i just saw it now is this one right here so using the top left hand corner as a reference you're going the third table down moving over one block and that's where that one's going to go so at this point you've now completed the left side of the build what you're going to want to do is the exact same thing on the other side just like how i've now done right here so this is basically what you should have right now again i do highly recommend that you guys follow the chart that i showed you just a little bit ago and then you can go ahead and kind of follow along with me especially when i do tell you guys what to replace the trays as well as the coffee machines with now the final two tables that you're going to place down are located right here in the middle once you've placed those down you've now basically completed the entire table portion of this layout next we're going to go ahead and do the stoves so using the top left hand corner as a reference point again the second table down you're going to want to place a stove facing inwards to the center right next to that table then to the left side of that another stove leave one space gap and then place another one here also facing inwards meanwhile you are actually standing right in the center of this entire ring so basically you want it looking a little something like this now next up place these stoves facing in this direction four kind of right next to each other and then over here do the exact same thing that you did on the other side remember have all of these facing inwards because your cooks will be standing inside of this green square also i know it's kind of crazy that i'm gonna have to point this out but the colored blocks don't really do anything i just have them there as reference points so that it does kind of help you guys understand on what exactly i am placing down on what location but let's go ahead now and move on to the next thing which is your order stand these are going to go in these locations that i am placing down right now it'll be a total of four of them so one right here one right here and two up in the same location right across now next up is going to be our dishwashers right in between these order stands go ahead and place down your dishwashers so that way it should be looking a little something like this now you will also be placing dishwashers at the very bottom so using this table right here as a reference point go ahead and place down one dishwasher here and another one right across on the same exact spot just on the other side now we're pretty much done here to be completely honest with you the only two things that we're missing are obviously the trays the coffee machine filler items and obviously the chairs but i mean that's the very last thing now in the event that you guys do not have coffee machines my best recommendation is to go ahead and fill that in with whatever plant you want the reason i don't recommend that you guys put there maybe like a gumball machine or a tray or anything of that sort is because it is going to ruin the exit point which if you didn't notice before i went ahead and closed down the restaurant the exit point is somewhere in this location right here unfortunately if you do end up adding some different gumball machines and candy machines or even tip jars the ai will actually go ahead and walk to them so it's just going to kind of completely ruin the entire thing but for those of you that do have the coffee machines it's literally as simple as just going ahead and placing four of them up here so basically right Right on top of these two dishwashers the next four you're going to want to place on the outer edges of where you put your stove so two in these corners right here and then on the exact same spot just on the opposite side go ahead and place two more so your kitchen area should be looking a little something like this now as for the final two you'll place these right next to the dishwashers that you put right on the very bottom close to the front door next we have the filler items these are going to go on the front entrance so go ahead and from the front door just do a four block width and and it's a three block length but you don't actually fill up these corners that are black on these corners what you're going to want to put is your silver trays 
So right next to the entrance on the left side and the right side, you'll place your tray. And then right across from the front door, your six square, you're going to want to go ahead and place two more of the trays. And obviously don't forget to go ahead and fill all of this up. So at the very end, this is the entire layout. Obviously not counting the chairs. I will go ahead and add those right now. Every single one of these green areas, you will want to leave completely empty. So these four blocks inside of the stoves are going to be completely empty. But yeah, this is basically the finished product right here. All chairs have been placed down. As you can see, this entire area right here in the front, completely empty. Exit point is going to be right here. And then the only other area, like I said before, that'll be empty is in between the stoves. And this is exactly how you will want to set up your entire first floor. Again, like I said before, if you do not have royal tables and royal chairs, you can go ahead and place pirate chairs, pirate tables, or obviously the tiki tables, as well as the red booth. So now let's go ahead and move on to my floor number two. And up here, I'm going to run you by really quickly what is going on. Now for this one, it's extremely straightforward. I really don't think I need to destroy this completely in order to show you guys. In total, there is seven tables going across with three rows going down. And then in between, what you're going to want to do is starting from the very far left hand side. So my teleporter is located over there. You're going to want to do three trays and then leave two empty spots. This is where the customers will walk up to and then teleport to their seat. And it is also going to be the pockets where the waiters are going to hang out. After those two empty pockets, go ahead and add four more trays and leave two more empty pockets pockets next to that. Then the three final blocks that are left here is where you're going to want to place your tip jar, candy machine, gumball machine, or coffee machine if you have extra one. Now, same concept for the second row. The only difference is when you get to the very end that you leave the two pockets, instead of adding another tip jar and another candy machine or everything that I listed, you're going to want to go ahead and add three more trays back here. After that, you'll notice that you have three empty rows that you will not be using. So go ahead and place whatever filler item you want in here, whether it be jewelry cases, roses, or whatever it is you want to do. Again, I'm not counting these two rows of roses because if you do not have the game pass, then you do not need to add the roses. On the screen right now, I'm going to show you guys the chart for this floor as well, just in case if that helps you out a little bit more. After you've gone ahead and completed floor number two, you're going to want to do the same exact thing in floor number three. And then every single floor after that will remain completely empty. And yeah, man, that's pretty much the entire build. This is Sparkle king's crazy kitchen coffee whatever it is that he called it i'm gonna go ahead and open up the restaurant again just so that you can see everything kind of flowing but yeah man i ran a couple of tests on this i'm not going to tell you that this is what you're going to get because that's not true there is a lot of different factors that go into how much you make hourly especially if you aren't using royals there is even more factors that go into how much you make hourly but every single one of the tests that i ran with full royal set i made anywhere between 19 million to 20 million per hour which honestly is a really good number Number. I haven't done these tests in a very long time, so I actually wasn't entirely sure. So what I went ahead and did was I went into my Discord and I asked everybody what their layout that they were using at the very current moment made for them. And the vast majority of people said between 17 million and 18 million. So I was definitely in shock to see that this made such a substantial difference. I've said this a thousand times and honestly, I'll say it again. There is no such thing as a best layout, but so many of you have been asking me in the Discord to see Sparkle King's layout. Now, as always, if you guys have any questions, Sparkle King, as well as plenty of other people are located in my discord link is in the description make sure that you guys go ahead and join there is a my restaurant chat in there and we have people in there sharing layouts all the time hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to drop a like on it don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of different content that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video like always i will see you guys in the next one take care